we are in Westerhope. We'll be covering this in a few episodes, this area of the west of Newcastle. Not far from Hadrian's Wall. And we're looking at a couple of modern churches now. Specifically built after the, on the pit village of Westerhope from the 1960s where there was lots of redevelopment and lots of new estates. And here we have the main route around the area. It's called Trevelyan Drive, which circumnavigates the estate. This church and the Anglican Church, further down, which we'll see shortly, was to uh, accommodate the new estates being built of uh, Newbiggin Hall, Walton Grange, Eagle Park, and Sheviot View. Planned in the 1960s by architect David Brown, a Diocesan Archive Show, and then it was finally built. And consecrated in the 11th of June 1979 and built by Lana of Wakefield. And it's very much similar to the Anglican one we'll see shortly, which is a rectangular shape. And uh, looking up, it's like pyramidal. And here we have the inside. We have some stained glass, and this state, this stained glass art was done at a much later date, actually, by uh, local stained glass artists. And that's the main entrance we have. Coming in. That's the side chapel over the far end through the windows. It's much pretty inside and the outside, I think, <laughs> but uh, it's really, really interesting. There's the altar and the interesting external internal trusses that are displayed. Lemonade trust, trusses explores right here next to the roof. Marked externally by a cross finial. And there's the stained glass windows again. And let's head down Trevelyan Drive to the next church. Using <laughs> This is the state. The new Church of St. Wilfred's. We can see that attached to it is a church hall which is in need of repair. But this was dedicated in 1967. A church building square and design with the altar at the corner and seat in the semicircle around the altar. Then the building and is altar worship in the Catholic tradition, which is there, uh, as we can see, very similar inside to the church we've just visited. And here it's a bit brighter because of. The windows seem to be larger, and an interesting uh, use of the, the roof trusses to show arches at either corner, gothic arches. Fortunately, there's no stained glass. That is a shame. And at the side there, there's uh, a kitchen and toilets, which were added on just recently. Interestingly enough, that uh, 
table with a crucifix on is actually the font. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this uh, little episode, and I'll leave you with the Station of the Cross, which are unique in this Anglican church.